So John, you've had a busy couple of days to open the July transfer window. Firstly, tell us about the capture of our new goalkeeper, Matt Boylan, please. Yeah, Matt's a young goalkeeper. He's um, he's come in and trained, highly recommended, come in and trained with us. PJ kind of has looked over him and we've watched him training and he's done very well. So we're, we're really pleased to get him in the building. We're looking for that younger profile of goalkeeper that will... Um, allow another goalkeeper out on loan, so that's um, that's the plan is to is to loan out uh, David up to um, Cliftonville, um, so that's that's one that we're we're really pleased for David to go out and play games, and delighted for Matt to come in now and, and battle it out with other goalkeepers. At centre back, it's a position that we've had terrible injury issues with this year. Although Joe Redmond is nearing fitness, Tom Gravosti's out for a while. Harry Brockbank's had a couple of injuries too. So to add David Norman Jr. Canadian centre back to the group, I know it was a position you were eager to add in, and you have done. Yeah, again, as you said, it's been a position that we've had issues with. So, um, again, another player that's that's been put to us that we've done our homework on and looked at, and um, obviously very pleased to get him in. He's a little bit older in terms of his uh, age profile. You know, still relatively young. I think he's twenty five. So um, he'll give us a little bit more experience to the group. We are a very young group, so. Um, adding, adding someone like David uh, we're very pleased to do so and looking forward to seeing him on the pitch A new signing in terms of the paperwork but not a new player to the club is Jay McGrath as well his deal at Coventry and his loan with us expired and he's signed a contract with the club as well 20 appearances and been an important player in that centre back position and, and great to have him back on board too Yeah Jay is a, is a good young player um, so yeah he's one that we're, we're delighted that has committed his, his future to the club um, so yeah, so we're very pleased to get him done. He's done well so far this season. Still a, a lot of improvement to be had with him, but um, definitely has the the characteristics and the tools in his toolbox to to be a good centre back. And uh, very pleased to get that one done. Alex Nolan is our newest recruit, one of two today. Um, attacking player who joins us from UCD, a young player hungry for success. He spoke very well in his interview, but looking forward to going full time and training with a lot of the senior attackers that we have and another good capture. Yeah, I was delighted to get him on board. He's obviously been at UCD. He's played in a number of different positions for UCD. We primarily see him as a wide player. Um, obviously having lost Serge down to Waterford, so um, he'll come in and, and battle it out with the guys in there. Um, as you mentioned, it's his first time going full-time, so it might take him a, a wee while just to get up to speed with that and, and the quality of the group, I think, will help him. Um, but yeah, he was in training today and delighted to have him in as well. And the last of our newest five is Keane Levy, a player who knows St. Pat's well, um, most recently with Shelburne, but a long time in Reading, having left Reading from the St. Pat's Academy, a really talented left-footed midfielder and another great capture. Yeah, delighted to get him. Um, had to fight off a couple of clubs in the league that were looking to sign him and we're delighted to get that one done. Um, he's, he's out injured at the moment, he's still uh, a couple of weeks away, so um, you know we've obviously had a look, look over the injury and it, it seems to be healing fine. So, we're very pleased with, with getting him back to the club. He's been here before. Um, he's someone that's been on the radar for a while. Um, I obviously know, know Hunt at Reading, who speaks very highly of him as well. And um, yeah, So it's, it's another good one that we're delighted to get in and, and looking forward to seeing him on the pitch. We're only six days into the window and it's your first as a manager. Five players in and, and three players out, a couple on loan and, and Vlad's gone back to Stony as well. So it's been a, a busy period for yourself and the staff as well as preparing for the matches, of course. Yeah, it is. It's, um, there's a lot of, lot of stuff goes into it that you probably don't realise. Um, you know, as a coach, obviously, uh, when you're a assistant, as assistant to Tim, obviously looking at over the last few windows and you probably don't realise the, the depth that everything goes into and the work that goes into it. So... Um, so yeah, look, we're really, really pleased with the business we've done so far. Um, looking forward to the, the game tomorrow, um, and that's that's probably the difficulty is juggling it all up and focusing on the game, trying to get players in the building. We've obviously got a busy month ahead with Europe and uh, the cup starting as well. So um, we want to try and get as much business done early as we, in, in, in the window as we can, and um, just to make sure that you know we're we're ready to go going forward. On the match itself against Cork, we've faced them twice this season. A great 4 0 win here and a narrow 1 3 2 down on Turner's Cross. That was your first game in interim charge. A couple of great goals, and that one from Connor and Jake. And Adam Murphy got a late winner. Liam Buckley's gone in as well, and, and they've had a real upturn. Your thoughts on the opposition and the match, please? They're a good side. Uh, they'll have a few signings in as well. I know they've announced one. I think um, I'd imagine they'll have another couple up their sleeve. Of, you've heard a few rumours of a couple of players that are in the building. so. Um, we won't be surprised if there's a few kind of that haven't been announced that get uh, that make the team sheet. 
Um, but yeah, no, they, they've done they've done relatively well. Um, it's important that we we play our game, and we're obviously fully aware of their threat. They've got some good players. We're fully aware of of Tunde, what he can and can't do. Um, you know, Keating up top is a handful scores goals. So um, definitely going forward, they're a real threat. So we need to make sure we defend properly, defend well, limit the mistakes, limit the opportunities that we give up, and then going forward, um, just continue playing at that tempo and. Um, doing what we've been doing going forward to make sure that we impose our game on them. And lastly, John, just to try and continue to make home advantage count, it's eight wins and 12 at home in the league with the best record in the Premier Division. And we crossed the 50,000 mark for supporters at Richmond Park this season for the UCD game last week. It's our third Friday at home in a row. So combining the supporters with the players' form at home, hopefully that will continue tomorrow evening. Yeah, of course. I think the support has been fantastic. And, you know, I've, I've said it before and I'll say it again, it certainly helps when the crowd get behind the players, they, they feel that energy coming from the crowd. We're fully aware that we need to give them something to, to shout about and to cheer about. And I think in the moments when, when things aren't maybe going well on the pitch, the fans can have such a huge impact with the players to, to lift them and we greatly appreciate that. I think it's no surprise that the home record is good um, with the fans the way they have been this year and getting behind the players. So um, as I said, it's important you know that we, we do our business on the pitch and we work hard. I think it comes down to that. It's not. Um, it's not by chance that we're we're, we're good at home, um, so it's it's really important that we maintain that tomorrow and we give ourselves another three points um, if possible. Thanks, John. Best of luck. Cheers, Jay. Thank you.